93.3 KZOZ FM, San Luis Obispo. The home of Jeff and Jeremy in the morning. They have no chemistry at all. It's Dumbass Today, and it's brought to you by Peterson's U-Cart. They're on Gus Road in A-Town. Get on in to check out everything they have. Get your yard looking great from uh, walk-on bark to gravel to all kinds of different things. They've got rocks. Uh, check them out online. Go to Peterson, the letter U, cart.com. How pathetic can some people be? You see an Italian guy's tip, right? We make everybody watch. So you see that? I gave the guy $5. You see that? <laughs> I gave him $5. You didn't see it. I'll give him 10 I'll give him 15 Hey, I don't even know if he works here. I'm tipping him anyway. I'm a big show. This guy gets money, that guy, this guy back here. I can't even see him. I'm tipping him. I don't care. Italian guys will tip at a funeral. Hey, could you get me up front by the body somewhere? <laughs> see us on vacation. Hey, honey, get a picture of me tipping this guy. <laughs> we like to tip. That's why we like to go to church, because that collection plate comes around. Put money in the plate, it's like tipping God. No, here, for him. For him, the guy upstairs, for you can bring it in for that guy over there, for the nun, for the altar boy father. Come here, go ahead, sit up front. Dumbass of the day. 93.3 KZOZ. You're going to love shots. this. Big timers. Big shots. Big shots, big timers. Shaq, apparently. You know, I always make sure. Likes to brag about what a big timer he is. I always like to make sure to uh, tip at least a dollar more than Jeremy whenever we go out. <laughs> Which has not been a long time. I remember that you'd be like, "Let me see you. Let me see your. Let me see your credit card receipt." And you would like be like, "Hey, everybody, just tip this amount because we split it, the bill three ways or something like that." Because we always have cheap friends that won't tip enough. Yeah, and so you always say, "Everybody tip this amount," and I would go a dollar over that amount just was, to. I'm always fine with that. I just I hate people because I used to be a server, and I know that's how people I live. I don't know if it. I don't know if you're always fine with it. You're like, you've said to me before, why'd you tip that much? Why didn't you um, just tip what everybody else tipped? Yeah, the big timey. Like Shaq. Shaq apparently <laughs> likes to throw his money around to poor... Uh, the dollar, man. I uh, can't even think of what the word is I'm trying to say. What do they call the people back in the uh, castle days? The, the poppers. The what? The poppers. No, no, the, the people, the commoners, the... I think it starts with a P, but whatever. Poppers. No, it wasn't poppers. Not P-O-P-P-E-R-S, P-A-U-P-E-R-S. No, no, but I'm thinking of a different word, but that's fine. That'll work. Here's Shaq talking about how he just... A very uh, poor person. That's a popper. How he bought a guy his engagement ring to give to his fiance or to his girlfriend... But it's what he told him to say. You went to the mall and went to Zales? First of all, I have, uh, I have a jewelry line at Zales. Oh, Duh. Okay. my bad. But anyway, I went in there to get some loop earrings, and I seen the guy come in. He was just so shy. He's like, hey, man, I can come back next month and the next, like, lay away. Like, yeah. you know, he put some money down. And I was like, my man, I'm, I'm, how much is the ring? And I'm not going to say the amount, but yeah. it's not enough to me. But I just, you know, I was like, you know what? Tell your girlfriend I got it. Take care of it. At first, he didn't want to take it. He said, no, nah, I can't do that. I said, don't worry about it. I do it all the time. Tell your girlfriend I got it. Oh, come on. <laughs> Tell your girl that Shaq Daddy is I in the house. In the house. I don't Tell think. Tell your girl that I got I think, it. Okay, I don't think that that was like, you know, like he's like saying, you know, make sure you have to tell her that I bought it for you. I think he's like, you know what? Tell your girl that that, that I got it. Well, number one, I you mean, surprise girls with rings. They don't usually go with you to get maybe the wedding ring, but not the engagement ring. You think when he proposed, he had to stop down and say, uh, by the way, um, Shaquille O'Neal bought that. I think that's what Shaq wanted. Well, here, listen to the next story. The other day, me and my mom went furniture shopping, and this lady, she had a... Uh, Autistic daughter, mm. and you know she was also you know looking to pay for some furniture. And I, I just took care of it, so I'm into making people happy. So whenever I leave the house, I just try to do a, a good deed. Like I didn't mean, mean, mean for that to get out because I don't do it for that, but I'm just trying to make people smile. That's all. He's just being a nice guy. Why has he got to brag about it then? I know. It's that's why he's dumbass of the day. It's a little bit braggatory. He's very braggatory. But I mean, it sounds like whoever, whatever podcast and, he was and why on, did he people were asking questions. You got to ask to answer the questions. Sometimes. And why did he have to say the woman's daughter was autistic? Because that adds to what a great guy he is. Yeah, that's true. Don't brag, just do it. You know, the other day, my wife asked me to stop at the store on the way home and pick up some sour cream and some salsa. We were going to make taco salads, and she likes to mix the sour cream and the salsa together to make a dressing. 
And then she called me and she said, oh, hey, can you pick up some avocados as well? But on my, you know, earlier in the day, I'd already gone to the store. And I, I thought about saying, ah, oh, man, I already went. But I said, nah, you know what? I'll just do it. And then she got home and I could have said, you know what? I went to the store twice for you today. But I didn't. I just said, yeah, there it is. I'm not Shaq. Why are you bringing it up now? I'm not Shaq. Because I'm using yeah, an example like of I'm not you're like Shaq. Shaq right now. You're bringing it up right now. Damn. You're good, bro. By the way, sour cream and salsa as a dressing? Taco bout a popper. <laughs> I still don't know what that means. I'm going to Google it. Congratulations, Shaq. You big braggatory SOB. You are Jeff and Jeremy. Dumbass of the day. 93.3 KZOC. Don't be a dummy when it comes to your landscape supplies. Go to Peterson Ucart on Gusta Road, just north of Quickie Car Wash in Atascadero. We love Ucart. You stay. Jeff and Jeremy here online at KZOZ.com. We got somebody on the line that wanted to weigh in. We're talking about fries. We're talking about dipping sauces. Uh, what did you want to say? Go ahead. Hi, good morning. I'm calling about you guys talking about Jack in a Box and they rolled stuff out. Yeah. They had tater tots and I was super excited because you can't find them anywhere here unless you go like Bakersfield to Sonic or something. And then they took them away. So. Yeah. I, you know, thanks for the call. I, I, there are other places that have tater tots. Are you a tater tot guy? Uh, yeah, I love tater tots. I, in fact, give me tater tots over fries any day. See, we have a, a, a push and a pull in our house. My son is all about fries, hates tater tots. How does he hate tater tots? That's what I said. I said, listen, this is just better fries, dude. Um, he doesn't agree with me. Uh, my daughter and I are team tater tots, and we have to make a mix whenever we have them because when I'm you not, make them at home especially at home fries at home fries are terrible like it's hard to get fries to taste good at home air fryer yeah but even Same then tater tots. even then it's not as good as the restaurant you know that right but still tater tots will do better in the air fryer than french fries well yes tater I'll, tots are great in the i don't air know if fryer. you do this i spray the uh, tater tots down with the we have that olive oil uh, aerosol spray mm-hmm. and then shake it salt it season it whatever cooking you want. spray i think <laughs> cooking spray well ours is olive oil cooking spray you can use Pam. You can use whatever you want. When you want. refer to it as aerosol spray, it makes me think you're taking Aquanet and, yeah, it and, sound and like spraying that. it. Into it's really the- gross. <laughs> uh, there's a place um, in uh, on Five Cities Drive, uh, right past the uh, outlet malls, called Brooks Brothers. We've taught them, taught them, we've brought them up before. And talked about them. That was burgers. Brooks burgers, but they do tater tots there. Brooks Burgers, really good. Brooks Burgers, not Brooks Brothers, right? Brooks uh, Brothers is, an, uh, is, is a men's uh, clothier. Oh, okay. Brooks Burgers, then. <laughs> I know it's Brooks. Burgers. Yeah, I'm Googling it now. Okay, my bad. I know I that because Tom Haverford wears... Um... Brooks Brothers. Yeah, you're right. It's Brooks <laughs> Burgers. They're on Five Cities Drive. They're across from... Um, well, they're right next to the outlet mall, and they're across from that other chain restaurant that I never go to, but I don't know what it's called. Brooks but... Brothers Boys is what, uh, is what uh, Tom Haverford wears. Go to brooksburger.com. They don't make trash. And you can see on their menu <laughs> that... Uh, I was like, Brooks Brothers, where do I know that reference from? I know it's not a burger place. Uh, you can get tater tots. You can order a tater tots for three fifty, and I think yeah, you, you can, know, you can making, put stuff on them, too. You know if who's you want. making the, the, the tots? I mean, they're, they're so good that they sell out. Is the tap room at, the, at Firestone... They have those rotator tots. I've had those. those they're amazing, but they're like it's like the first thing to go on the menu. You have to get there early to get them, and it's like I'm like thinking, wait a minute, tater tots. How do you not just buy more and have them at the ready until the end of the end of the evening? Do they go bad? I don't think they go bad. You just stick them back in the freezer, right? I, how, how are you having? I'm sorry, we're out of those. How could you be out of them? I get well because they can only have so much room in the freezer, I guess. I guess. So here's the deal. Eight zero five five four three thirty six ninety three. I'm glad you called in. This is how we can do a public service. We got into this business and classes in college, community college. Are like, you're here to serve the public. Well, this is a great way to serve the public. Let's figure out where the best where we can get tater tots. Number one, because you're right. Uh, I had those tater tots. The loaded tots is what they called them, and you can get them with a nacho cheese and jalapeno rings. And they went away. Oh, they were the best. Hard to eat with. The- See, this is fork. What, you gotta go fork. You see, and that's what I don't like about Jack. Like that's finger food, full on. Okay, not when it's in that box and it's covered in nacho like, cheese. Like, you gotta fork it at 
Firestone, when they do it, they cover it with whatever the rotator tot is. They drizzle it on, and they drizzle it on, and it's not enclosed. Because Jack in the Box can't put it on a plate. It's open They have to put it in a little box. I understand that, but that's where they go wrong. It's like when McDonald's came out with this salad that you shake and bruise the lettuce Oh, that was awful. Yeah, but I mean, it's like, like, well, okay, we can't do a salad in a cup, I guess, because it, it makes the lettuce taste wilted and gross. Um, same thing with, with Jack in the Box. That's why the tater tots went away. Too hard to eat with your fingers. I mean, you get tater tots and you want to eat them with your fingers. You don't want to have to get a fork to eat them. What's the point of that? Is tater tots one or two words? Especially on the fast food realm. Is, is tater tots two words? I think it's a hyphenated. Yeah. I tater right. hyphenated tots. All right. Where can you get tater tots? All right. We're going to throw that up. Let us know. 805-543-3693. What restaurant? Can you get tater tots? Oh, because they'll put the store. Yeah, 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 yeah you're right. You. Sorry. Come on. Get, no, yeah, Look, I'll we're, fix that. We're, we're dealing with here. Come on. Subscribe to the Jeff and Jeremy podcast now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, and YouTube. It's your Central Coast commute-friendly podcast.